I also want to uh, thank Pat, Patty from uh, Life with Patty, and Kathy from Kathy's Favorite Things for starting this Tea Tuesday. This is an open collab, you guys. Anybody can join in. We'll be glad to have you guys uh, to get to know you as you get to know us, and you come on and you support us. We would like to support you too. If you don't have a channel, let us me know that you're you're. You're here so I can let everybody know that you do support uh, T Tuesday. And when you get a channel, I mean, when you start posting on your channel, if you would like to join in with us, please do. You guys, please join in with hashtag T Tuesday. Hi, everybody. This is Shirley from Shirley's Real Life. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody's doing well. And I am going to be drinking today Energize. It's a, um, it energizes the body and the mind, and which is a, a matcha. This is cranberry and lime flavored tea. And this is it right here, you guys. It's nice and hot. I have been drinking it. And, uh, yeah, I, that's, I only have a half a cup left, but uh, this is what I am drinking, and oh, it is still really warm. Um, I'm going to be reading out of my little book, you know, you guys, that I really love, and, and then I'm going to tell you some things that we're going to be doing with our, my granddaughter for the, the uh, summer. It says, I, the servant Lord, in your strength you are keenly aware of your weakness you know that your strength is sufficient to handle the many challenges you face though this feels uncomfortable it is actually a very blessed place to be awareness of your neededness can help you keep turning to me letting me supply all your needs according to my riches and glory when your energy is running low connect with me your strength sometimes I pour abundant energy and to you as you spend time in my presence at other times I energize I energize you only bit by bit giving you just enough strength to keep moving slowly forward although the abundant provision is more dra drastic and satisfying do not be discouraged when i choose to give you strength significant only for the moment this may be my way of keeping you ever so close to me on your life path leaning on me this closeness helps you hear my whispers telling you of my delight in you to hear these whispers clearly you must trust that I the servant Lord am in charge of your life and that your journey though difficult is full of blessings so the scriptures we were going to be reading has says, The servant Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. Habakkuk 3 and 19. My God shall supply all my your needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 and 19. Splendor and majesty. Are before him strength and glory are in his sanctuary of strive to the Lord O families and nations of strive to the Lord glory and strength Psalm 96 6 to 7 and that is the reading for today you guys and my my tea even says energize so I guess we need when we need energy we need something to energize us we can turn to God or we can turn to uh, 
a higher being or whoever or whatever you turn to when you need your strength and when you need energy. So I said I was going to talk to you guys about some things that we'll be going over with my granddaughter during the summer. You know we do home teaching with my granddaughter. So this is some of the things that they wanted us to teach her. This is the U.S. states and the capitals. And I, I know um, we have 50 states, but they were adding on some uh, states or territories and their capitals to the U.S. And I know Guam was already added. And Samara, Sama, American Sama, it says S A M O A, was already added because we had 52 at one time. Now it's 55. So they've added three in the, in the, uh, some years. So these are what we're teaching her now the U.S. states and capitals. And I was like, I need to refresh up on this sometimes too because <laughs> there are things that I forget. So as we learn the states, of the 52 uh, uh, states of America and their capitals. We're also learning the uh, inhabited U.S. territories and their capitals as well. So she's learning this now and you know they have started getting ready for SAT and my, my grandson in their school is already doing it. So these are some of the uh, ninth grade SATs that she's going to be studying over the, over the uh, for the summer when she go into the ninth grade and these are some of the words and everything and I was like as as I as we teach her there are things that I refresh upon or I get to know too because things have changed and they're adding a lot of stuff um, since I've grown up and gotten older <laughs> So these are some of the words that we'll be t also going over with her. And you guys, you're never too old to learn. I don't care what age you are. You can always learn something that will fit into your everyday life and that will fit into something that you may need down the road. There are a lot of things that we learned in school that we don't use every day or we haven't learned. Or we learned it, but we didn't need it. So now... The kids are learning something different, and I'm learning something different. And as I said, we are never too old to learn, you guys. So God bless you. Happy Tuesday. And I will talk to all of you in the next video. I thank all of my my regular supporters. You guys, you know you keep me going. And you keep my channel going. You subscribe. You like. You comment. And... I appreciate it so very much. All of you, my new subscribers, thank you for coming. And thank you for um, finding something on my channel that you enjoy. And if you haven't joined, you see something that you like, please consider hitting that notification button. Give me a thumbs up. And let me know what you think about my channel, you guys. I will always come back and... and um, uh, say something to you. I always like to communicate with, with, with all of you. So thank you and God bless.